Hello and welcome. In this video, we are going to learn how to get the filter criteria from a user and filter SDP or the table records and display in the page. I have already created this category business object in my visual application which basically contains category ID, description of the product, locator where it is located in the warehouse or any store and the manager ID to whom it belongs. And I have created the employee business object as well. So the manager ID what we had seen associated with the product or the category the details for which is available here. Let's begin and modify this main start page and proceed with their use case. First I will try to drop this table component in my designer page. I am going to make use of this add data from here and select category. Click on next. I want the category ID to be displayed. I want the description and the locator and in the row I want ID and manager ID. I don't want basically to display those values in my table column but I want this to be available in row data. Click on next and done. Let me preview this clicking on this button. Yeah, it has opened and we are able to see the category ID, description and the locator. Now we want to have the filter criteria to display only the products or the categories which are available in so and so rack number. Now we will add that. I will drop the input text over here. Let me rename to search locator. I want the placeholder where I want to store the search locator provided by the user. For that I am going to create a variable. Click on variable. ID I am providing search locator where it is of type string. Click on create. Yeah, then now let us go to page designer. Go to data and we will drop this variable. Now when the user enters the locator in the search it will be stored in this variable. Now we want to pass this to the SDP which it has created. Let us go to variables. When we click on the add data when we created a table over here by clicking on this quick start that is add data it will create a variable for us that is of type SDP. In our coming videos we will learn how to create this manually as well. Now if you scroll towards down there is this filter criteria click on this. Now we have to click on this add condition. Here we have to select the locator. Yeah, it contains. Now here we have to select for search this. So what it does is it every time it will filter the SDP based on the value provided by the user in this variable which is nothing but from the user interface. Click on save. Go to page designer. Now oh, let me again preview this. Now I want only to display the products which are available in rack A1. Now I am giving A-1. Yeah, As you could see I am getting only the categories which are available or placed in rack A1. Now let me just delete and tab out. So I, I could see all the categories. Now let me check for R2. Yeah, There is only one product or that is chocolate which will be placed in rack R2. Like this we can accept the search criteria from the user and filter the data in SDP or in a table and list it instantaneously in the user interface. Please do like this video and subscribe our channel and thank you for joining us in this video.